What's up guys, hope you're having an incredible day today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the user interface of Go High Level, or in other words, just change the look of your Go High Level account with custom CSS. I honestly just learned how to do this the other day. A buddy of mine named Tony showed me a Google Chrome extension that you can use for free to change the entire look of your Go High Level account to take it from looking like this to looking like this. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can play around with and customize your account in this video. Please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps out my channel and allows me to give you guys more free content just like this video. All right, so to start out, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Google Chrome web store and you're gonna to wanna to search up Visual CSS Editor and you're gonna find this extension right here to Google Chrome and you're gonna click on it and you're gonna add the extension. I already have it here, but you're gonna add the extension to Chrome. It'll take like 20 seconds and then you'll be able to go up here to your extension and you'll be able to see your visual CSS editor extension right here inside of Google Chrome. All right, so now we're inside of our Go High Level account. We have our Chrome extension uploaded here in our extensions. We're just gonna click on our Chrome extension like this and it's gonna load in to our Go High Level page. And now, as you can see, this extension is open and we can see all the different CSS regions on our Go High Level account that we can update and change. So if I click this little section up here, it pops up with all these different things that I can edit up on this top banner right up here. I'm gonna move this down so we can see everything up here. And so if I wanted to change the background color of this top section, I would go to backgrounds and then I could change it to like a red color if I wanted to. And you can see all of the edits that you make live as you're changing them. Um, let's say I don't wanna do a color, but I wanna do like a gradient that fades in from like a dark to a light. I can go down to gradients right here and there's all these gradients inside of this editor that you can choose from. Let's say I want to use the like dark gray to like black. That would be um, this one down here. It would be coal right here. I can change it from like a dark to a light or like a light to a dark and I can drag around this gradient right here and kind of change the fade. Um, let's say I like that right there. That looks good to me. And then we can go over to this side background over here where all of our menu links are. And we can select this whole section right here. And we can change the background and we can use that same coal gradient that we had before. If I can find it here and we can select the same color pattern for the side panel as the top here. So they kind of run together now. Um, and if we wanna hide this while we're editing it and we wanna see what the screen looks like without these editors in the way, we can hit the H key on our keyboard and it'll hide it here. We can just click this to bring it back out. Um, but now we can see that we have this like charcoal color and we have our different menu links here. I think it looks really good. Um, but let's say I don't want this background to this uh, where my account showing to be blue, this or like this grayish blue color. Let's say I wanna change that so I can just open up the editor again and I can select this little section right here and then I can change the background of that to like a lighter gray color like that. Let's say I like that one. I'm gonna copy this color code so that I can paste it onto this other section right here and then I'm gonna to go to background of that one, paste in this color code and uh, boom, both of them are gray now. Oh, and then there's this one little section here that I wanna make gray as well with the little lightning bolt on it. So I'm gonna change the color on that one as well. And uh, there we go, awesome. So I'm gonna hide this again. Now we have like our gray color here. We've got our coal, you know, fade, uh, the gradient here. Um, and let's say we wanted to change the color of this menu, the uh, launch pad where they integrate their apps. Um, we can click on and, and select that and we can change the entire background of this section right here as well. I'll just paste in that gray that we used up here in the top left and we'll use that same gray. Um, you can see that it didn't select the whole menu. It was only like the, the lines in between, um, but that's okay. We can select each individual menu here and we can change the background color to that light gray um, just like that. Oh, and so I guess it selected multiple. Um, we can just go through and we can change these white ones that are still white to this gray color. And this might not be the color you wanna choose because this one with the text and everything, the text isn't showing up super well. So I'm probably gonna change the color of this text to like black instead of this like grayish blue color so that it pops more 
on the background, this gray background that we're putting on here. Um, but yeah, just to give you an idea, you can change these colors. And then instead of selecting the whole box, I can just select the text part of it and I can change the text color from this gray blue color and I can change it to white so it pops better on the background. And then from here, I would go over and I'd change the text right here because this one hasn't changed yet. Um, I wouldn't change the background, I would change the text color here and uh, we'll drag it up to white and I'll have to do that on each one. It's a little bit tedious, but it's pretty cool that you can customize the entire platform to make it look different than every other go high level SaaS person out there. Um, it makes you really stand apart from everybody else when you can customize this kind of stuff on your account. So I'm gonna drag that up there and uh, oh, this last one down here didn't get selected. So I'm gonna change the background of this one to this gray color that we like. Um, and then I'm gonna go change the text finally right here to white and uh, now we've got our white text here and it looks a lot better uh, we could also change the color of this text up here it's really cool because you can select almost any element on the page and you can do your own custom CSS and then we've got a little back arrow here if we didn't like one of the edits that we made we can also hit undo um, and it'll undo the last edit that we did um, but yeah, pretty cool here. Um, really awesome that you can customize things, change things around. You could even change these logos here by clicking on the item and you'll click this little menu right here and you'll, you'll go down to child element and then you'll go to integration icon and then it will select just the icon and then you can click the image here and you can paste in your own link for your own icon image that you want to use. If you don't like the Google My Business Suite um, logo right there, you can use a different Google Business Suite logo. Um, but yeah, super cool there. And then nothing will change on your user face here unless you copy the custom CSS, which is the custom code that we need in order for this to actually go live on our account and for all of our sub accounts to show these color patterns. And so what we'll do here after we're done editing everything that we like, um, we can even like drag this down and like we can change the, you know, up here we can drag it, make it bigger, smaller. Uh, we're just going to leave it how it was before though. Um, but yeah, after everything, after you've made all your edits, you like the way that it looks, looks good to you, then you can hit export and it'll give you this custom code here. This is all the code of the things that we just changed on the user face and we're going to copy it from this first line, we're not gonna copy the container fluid up here, we're just gonna copy right below that. And we're gonna go all the way down and copy to this bottom little parenthesis and then hit copy. And then we can finally exit out of this now. Um, it's gonna go back to the regular layout, but that's okay, because now we're gonna jump into our agency view. Right now we're in a sub account. We're gonna jump over to our agency view. We're gonna go down to settings and then company, and then we are gonna scroll down to where we see our custom CSS box, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna paste in all of that code that we just copied from that editor, um, the CSS editor, and you can see all that code that we just changed and did in the editor is here, and then we're gonna hit update company, and then from here, we are able to refresh our page and we will now see all of those changes that we just made. We've got our black color here. We can switch into our sub account here and it still shows everything that we changed. Looks awesome. Um, you can change this to look like whatever you want, um, but this is just for this example. Another really cool thing as well, you can go in and you can go down to sites and forms and you can go to the form builder and let's say we go to this free course form that I was building. Um, looks pretty basic, you know, white color. Um, there is some editing you can do inside of the form builder, um, but you can also open our plugin here and we can change some things and go a little bit more in depth and customize our forms that we put on our websites even better and customize them even more. So if I click on the background, so just the, the whole form itself, we can change the background color and make it a gradient like fade like we did up here. And we could change it to that coal color if we like. I'm just gonna keep going to that coal color, but 
Um, I guess let's try a different one. You know, this blue looks pretty good and it kind of fades in. We can switch the fade around to like fade from different sides the way that we like it. Um, but yeah, really cool stuff you can do here. They also have stock images that you can choose from. So if you wanted the background of your form to be something like this dude hugging his girlfriend or whatever, you could do that. Um, that might not be a good looking form, but I mean, you get the gist of it. You can use different background like these flowers if you wanted to for the form. That's stuff that you can't do normally in the form builder. Um, and so if you wanted to use this flower background for the form, for example, then you would just go to export and you would copy this line of code that they gave you from the change that you made there. And then you would just copy this again, just like we did the first time. We can close out of the CSS editor and then we'll just go back to our agency account and we'll hit okay. We didn't wanna edit anything on the form right there anyway. Um, and then we'll go down to our settings and then our company tab, and then we can go in. You don't wanna delete the code that you've already put in there. You wanna keep it and you just wanna hit enter and enter in any new code that you've gotten for any other future changes that you make to the account and we will paste that in there and we'll hit update and we will then refresh our page. You have to refresh your page after every edit, every time you change any of the custom code for the user face, you'd have to do that. And now we can go in to that account again and we can go down to our sites tab and then form builder and then our free course form and we'll be able to see that it's permanent now, that flower background. So we can use this form with the flowery background on our website or in emails, stuff like that. So really, really cool stuff there that you can change around inside of high level. The text, you can even go in, let's, I'll show you here. Um, you can change the font of the text, like over on our sidebar where we have our menu links. If I click on one of them, like the launch pad right here, um, I can go to text and I can change this to like a different font if I want. And I'll hide this so you can see now launch pad has a different font. So awesome, awesome stuff you can do here with this custom CSS editor inside of Go High Level. Big thanks to my buddy Tony for showing me that Google Chrome extension that allows us to edit our Go High Level account. If you guys are wanting to start your own SaaS business using the High Level platform, there's a link down below where you can get access to my free SaaS masterclass. I go step by step and show you how to set up everything inside of your white labeled Go High Level software business. And if you haven't started using High Level yet, then you can get a 14 day free trial at my affiliate link down below. As an affiliate, if you sign up through my link, I'll give you as much one-on-one -on -one help as you need to get going and make money with the SaaS business model. And so I'm always happy to help. Feel free to reach out on any of my social media platforms and I'd love to chat with you. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.